As the curtain is unveiled, new inductees into the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame get a chance to see their memorabilia and biography in a permanent display for the first time. Thank you, Rob. Becoming a member of the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame and Museum is the highest honor that we can bestow on any member or horse. The class of 2012 is welcomed amongst the legends of the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame and Museum by taking their place and by dedicating the artifacts that are meaningful to them and sharing them with the people who visit our museum. Including the class of 2012, 233 horses, women and men have been honored in the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame during the past 30 years. This year, three horses and three individuals were welcomed to the hall, including past AQHA president Walter Fletcher of Lake in Kansas. Oh, it means a lot. I mean, it really is a select group, and I'm honored to join them. I've watched many of the previous ones over the year, and I've always admired them, and, and it's unbelievable that I'm in there with them. Joining Fletcher are legendary auctioneer and founder of Gordyville, Gordon Hannigan of Gifford, Illinois reigning icon Bob Loomis of Marietta, Oklahoma, Indigo Illusion and Streak in La Jolla, who both made lasting impacts on American quarter horse racing, and Hollywood Dunnett, another iconic reigning legend. Each inductee donated special artifacts to share with the thousands of visitors from all over the world who come to Amarillo, Texas to visit the Hall of Fame and Museum. I think every artifact that they have donated to the museum has a special meaning to them. It represents a moment in time that they shared with that horse or a moment in time that they remember that made them the legends that they are. Like the iconic black chaps worn by Bob Loomis, Gordon Hannigan's famous gavel, or the crystal trophy won by Indigo Illusion in the Fabergé Special Effort Futurity in 1983. The fact that they're willing to part with them so that we can share them with the people of our horse industry and our general visitor is very meaningful to us and I think that they should be very proud of what they're willing to part with and tell the stories and allow us to tell the stories about those items and their lives.